Let's see if we can't get warmed up though. Get some curls. Get some shoulder presses. And then gradually move the weights off the deadlift from yesterday. Gradually. <laughs> yeah, it's just curl, curls for the warm up. I feel like I probably haven't eaten enough this week. Been keeping the calories like increasing slowly, but I'll need to get a few more cows in. That's okay. Let's bump it up. How much we benching today? Probably. I mean, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Going heavy, you got. I mean, I don't even think we've been going heavy, right? Because we've had to sort of bounce back from the pec and shoulder strain. And then, you know, the the strength loss that goes with not benching for four months. But, uh, yeah, we'll see where we're at. Sometimes you gotta kinda wade into the workout to find out what kind of workout it's gonna be. Should get some pops going on the Friday morning, though. Should be good. But, yeah, that's okay. We can bump the, bump the food up a little bit. It's gonna add, basically just gonna add another meal. Or add calories to one of the meals, I should say. Yep. Nice truck. Sounds good. Sounds nice. Sounds great. Get you, get you a power rack at the house. It's a lot of fun, man. You're gonna tear it up. And you can still go to the gym and do accessories and stuff if you wanted to, but having the ability to do some of the big lifts of the house would be great. Nice Mortius. Yeah, the, uh, the, the Ohio bars have been good. What's my bench style going to be today? We'll find out. I don't usually pause on my chest for multiple seconds, but I suppose we'll find out, huh? Got a new camera? Nope. Probably maybe just different lighting because we have the doors open and it's a different, you know, different kind of day as the as the year progresses, the lighting changes. Haven't really changed much. Oh yeah, the, the Ohio bars are holding up great. But now I haven't really changed anything about the setup. <laughs> Camera looks higher. Am I gonna log into you and say my name for New World? Uh, how does that work? Uh, yeah, what what does EU have to do with it? Our name is like, like cross region. Maybe it was the overhead triceps we were doing, but I'm kind of feeling my triceps from our other, other workout. I like it. I like it. Your names are global. <laughs> so one person in the world has to just take Bajira and um, I can't have that name. Oof. That's what we did. Yep. Wow. Huh. Well, we'll see how that goes. 
Yeah. How does it look? Well, go check it out on my YouTube channel. Like, visually, how does it look? Or, like, is it fun? Like, is it, like, you know, looking good? Yeah. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah. We've been, we, you know, played it a ton with every chance we get. It's been good. Oh, man. Why am I sore? They'll sell it to me? Sure. I mean, if you take the name, it is what it is, I guess. I'll take it for free. Sounds good. Uh, I'm doing it with my name? Whatever. I'll figure something out. Felt. Figure something else out. When was I a Satan Prince? You don't think the Saiyans are a little tired after big battles? That's how you get stronger, man. Ever arm wrestle? Not really. Retired from arm wrestling. A little tired, maybe we've been putting in been putting in some work recently, dude. Putting in some efforts in the games and gains. Feeling a little bit, a little under recovered. In the yellow on the whoop. Not quite in the red, thankfully. Not going that that tough, but. Got some, got some room to recover, but we'll get in the gym, pump it up a little bit. Feel that finally get back into Yesa? Is that why you're talking smack? It's because you have just only now gotten back into working out. So you're trying to project some of your uh, internal dissatisfaction onto me. Is that what's going on there? I've been kicking ass this entire time, bro. You'll never catch me. <laughs> Nah. It's funny, even though I've been working out this entire time, you probably get stronger than me. It's like, you know, a week back in the gym, you'd be fine. You'd be fine. You'd be fine. <clears throat> Easy peasy. But keep in mind, the only one that's allowed to talk smack about me is me, alright? So, watch yourself. The only one that's allowed to talk smack about me is me. <laughs> that is the rules. Yeah. I'm tired this week. Uh, did some good progressive workouts. I think the main thing is just... I mean, sleep can always be improved, but... You get a little more food in, too. But we'll, we'll work on that. That won't be a problem. Just make the adjustment. Uh, no problem at all. Dude, Throckmore, thanks for the two full years. That big flex weight. What a drink. You just let me mix it up. Mostly carbohydrates. Exclamation mark. Sup. So little carbs. A little bit of caffeine. Eat a little bit of EAAs. Yep. 
Takes three skills on the consistency to get the routine, don't they, yeah? I've heard people say that. I've heard that said. Oh, yeah. I think it's a routine as soon as you decide to make it a routine. <laughs> as soon as you decide. But, fair enough. You don't think demoting me from a Saiyan to an old man is talking smack, Eternal? <laughs> well, what is it? <laughs> I'm not supposed to interpret that. Been, been having some big battles, bro. Gotta recover from that sometimes. Some big battles. Being waged. Yeah, if you haven't worked out for a while, you're gonna pay the price. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. But if you keep, you know, if you stay with it, you'll be alright. You'll be alright. Just gotta build that fitness. Okay. Says, so nah, I feel like an old man for a workout. Right, so that's what I'm saying. So you're talking about yourself, not me, right? So my my analysis was correct, huh? <laughs> Nail it. Do me a favor and get that Hello Fresh sign up going, team. We're gonna be doing another Hello Fresh sponsored cooking stream later today. It's gonna be really fun. Love to make more of those possible. It'd be great. Thanks, Joffy. Working, man, as always. On the grind, dude. On the grind. Got lots, lots and lots of work to do, but fortunately, a lot of it's really, really fun, so we'll keep pumping. We'll keep pumping. Give it a try, Toki, see what happens. Click the link and check it out. Check it out. I did get through Act 2, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's where that's where I thought I posted it. <laughs> Alright, that's where I meant to post it. Oh Yeah the gym shark shirt makes you look pretty swole. It is a little chesty day, so we'll see how it goes. I don't think I actually got any of the alt channel videos posted yet today. Let's do that. I 
I'm not sure, mediocre. I could, I could look into it though. Furry build so relevant, sure. I mean, it's not as good as arms, but uh, Barbarian's feeling good. It's just not not as busted as some, but I mean, it's, it's pretty fun. Yep, pretty fun. It's not nerfs, it's just not as good as arms. I don't think that fasting has a whole lot of benefit for me. I mean, I like working out in the morning before eating, but I think that eating. It's gonna have make like probably better <laughs> for performance, but it's just schedule wise. That's what I prefer, but no, I'll eat all day long. I don't, I don't think fasting is like what's uh, you know useful for me and my goals right now. Usually eating throughout the day is better. But I, I generally do train in the morning without eating a meal. Like I said, that's just kind of personal preference and schedule preference. Then coming in the gym later for a, a workout after I've eaten something feels pretty good too. I feel like I haven't been eating enough this week. I added a walk, but I haven't adjusted my calories up, so I'm gonna need to do that. I'm a little under recovered this week, so that could have something to do with it. Well, part of it is just my body getting used to it, I think, but yeah, we could bump the calories up a little bit. A little more of a snack after the walk would be good, probably. Uh. But yeah, I mean, if you if you like the way it makes you feel, then go for it. But I don't think that like there are just like objective benefits that make it worth doing. If you don't like the way it makes you feel. You're trying to gain weight, but it's hard when you eat a boatload and still not. So when you say boatload, how much, how many calories is that actually? Because we're not tracking your calories, you're, you know, who knows, you know, when they're actually eating enough. I want to be a little more serious about your goals. But yeah, so it's weird. Weird. But we'll adjust, we'll adjust this uh, coming week. We'll adjust. Mm. Gotta keep working pull-ups in the rotation too. Do some pull-ups today. 
Then we'll get my back warmed up too. But yeah, I think the extra walk, you need to. And it's food. I'm trying to take my calorie increases pretty slow, but that's all right. We'll adjust. Good to know. There's a lot of trial and error going on. Yep. Two, you eat chicken and pasta two meals a day and two shakes along with water. Yeah, that's probably, that's like hardly any food. Yep. So you need to track your calories. Two meals with shakes is probably not even 3,000 calories. So. But even if it was, if you're not getting weight, then you need to bump it up, right? That's how it works. Dude, come on. So jacked up. Dude, Brian, good to see you, man. Thanks for the 19 months, dude. Appreciate it. I mean, there's a difference between dirty bulk where it's like you eat a big surplus versus a dirty bulk where you just eat shitty food, right? It's... Duff trying to pull me dump all the money into a car. Whatever, man. Seeing a lot of bullshit from you, brother. Fair enough. Time to get some food in you, though, huh? Seeing a lot of BS. Do I really want to take these plates off? I don't really want to do it right now. I'm just going to grab the plates on the other side. We'll just grab the plates over here. It's a lot of BS. Not buying it. You gotta, your car was not working, you needed to go to work or something, right? I'm afraid of dirty bulk, you need fast food, right? I understand, but like, that's a, that's a misconception, right? You know what I mean? It's a misconception. And you thanks for the 16 months as well, man. Big flex, where are you? How's the shoulder healing up, Ryan? Shoulder going. <laughs> I saw your uh, I saw your mood tweet after your uh, after your LARP adventures. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. Racked up some considerable strain and caloric expenditure. That was awesome.
Oof. That's awesome, though. Oh, bummer. Well, yeah, go get it checked out, huh? That is weird. Need to turn schedule? Yep. That'll be our pretty much our whole gaming session today. Definitely. Yep. Our whole gaming sesh will be D2R today. Pretty sure. Maybe we'll have to revisit TBC on like Monday. But I, I think I just want to play Diablo 2 for a bit. You can get a few curls in. I think I want to try to do some back too. You're bulking now, making some games good stuff. Yeah, I'm with you. Weight's been coming up slowly, which is good. I think at the end of the month, or maybe even like this next week, probably time to bring the calories up again. Just a little bit more, a couple, a couple hundred more. Make sure we continue to meet our training demand and gain a little bit of weight. Doing good though. What do you need both? Just more calories. Did you, I looked at that video. Exclamation mark bowl. Just to reiterate. Because sometimes I say things and people don't get it. It's about the calories. Thanks, well, thanks for the two full years. You can eat the exact same foods, you just need to eat more. So it's more, if I say more carbohydrates, you're like, ah, so carbs is the secret to bulking. It's like, no, you just don't really, don't really need to increase your fat or protein a ton, necessarily. And the bed tanks are three months, so it's, it's more food. More meals or more of, of certain ingredients, like more rice, something like that. You're just adding, you know, a little calories. You got me, do you though? I think you need to watch the video right now. Go, go watch that real quick. Because I, I want to make sure that you understand the basics. It'll help you out a lot. Just understanding why and how that stuff works. It'll, it'll make a big difference. It, it, it's like a four and a half minute video. You're not gonna miss anything. Just go check it out real quick. Just so we can establish a foundation of understanding. But well, I don't need any meat for like, but so the chicken thing doesn't I mean that's kind of relevant, but. You just need more calories, right? You just need to be in a surplus. And over time, you have to increase that. Just like you have to decrease your calories when you're dieting over time, just a little by little, you know? It's just important that we lay that foundation though, right? That's awesome, you see. I'm proud of you, dude. That's tremendous progress. Tremendous. You keep it up, dude. But I mean, you can probably keep your protein and fat about the same whether you're dieting or trying to gain weight, but your calories for like increase from carbohydrates is like what I mostly do. You need a little more fat too, probably. And protein probably comes up a little, but the biggest difference is carbohydrates. That's because you're just putting in more, more energy.
then there's the basics, my friend. And once you once you kind of get that, it'll help you out a lot in terms of planning out, you know, your goals and stuff and your methods to achieve those goals. That's where it all begins. So we're very like adamant about people understanding that part first and going from there. And it'll help you, I promise. Like when you were talking about like, ha like having trouble gaining weight, it's because you're missing like the most important part, which is making sure that you are tracking enough and adjusting if you're not moving in the direction of your goals, right? So focusing solely on food selection is like, you're kind of missing the point, right? Like there's nothing magical about chicken and pasta that should make you gain or not gain weight, right? Refined protein and carbohydrates, so this is just, you know, if you're not eating enough calories, you're not going to see it with the scale move. You know what I mean? So. But you, but, but you kind of saw that in action, right? So does everyone struggle to eat? Gotcha. I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's, everybody's got their own challenges, right? Yeah. Some people struggle to get enough food in and some people struggle to stay in the discipline of not eating too much, you know? Yep. Everybody's got their own unique challenges. Ugh. But it probably mostly just has to do with your habits. Uh, it's a dead angel. So. Big boy. Big boy. Yeah. I'm going real slow with this one, Morteus. I appreciate that. I didn't want to try. Starting off in the gym, which is always good. But there's just there's a lot of trial and error. Like what I'm talking about with me, like I increased my calories a little bit, but then I also added a walk, so it's like, ooh, those, my recovery's not feeling tip top. Definitely have to be pretty deliberate about adding in another, another little meal, you know, to get a couple hundred more calories in my day, so I can stay on my goals and keep recovering from the training we're doing, right? But. Taking the whole process slowly is also fine with me this time around, so, you know, there's going to be a lot of little adjustments along the way. But if you don't know what you're doing, like number-wise, it, it can be kind of tricky to make those adjustments and have it feel good. You can check yesterday's VOD. Yep. Got some Barbarian through Act 2 yesterday. We'll, we'll do more of that today. Gotta find what's best for you. Right, but like, there are certain like, basic foundational principles that everybody abides by. Everybody's body abides by at least. But the particular expression can be different, right? So like if you want to gain weight, you need to be in a surplus. That's how it works for everybody. How you decide to maintain that surplus is kind of up to you. But there are some certain foundational key elements, right? And those are the ones that I try to encourage you guys to become aware of. You know what I mean? 
All right. I'm just gonna try to get my shoulders. It's a little bit warmed up here in between bench sets. Because those basic foundational fundamental principles will take you really far if you apply them consistently. But they are unfortunately not really the things that you hear about most, right? You hear mostly about like, this food is good, this food is bad, like this magical diet is, you know, activates some special fat burning mechanism and it's just like, that's not really how it works. What do I think of Sun Gym Streamer, Natty? Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure, right? That's what, that's what he says. So, yeah, looks great, but it's, I don't think, I don't think it's an enhanced physique. Got some big old arms, that's for sure. Is that what you mean, though? Too, looks super vascular for a natural? Well, you can get very vascular naturally, you just need to be lean, and he's pretty lean. Just gotta be, skin, like, you know, low body fat to be vascular. But yeah, Sonja does have them, them big old arms. Yeah, anytime somebody has an impressive physique, just jumping on the, are they natty things. I mean, his physique looks perfectly achievable naturally. And I believe he has achieved that physique naturally. I think he just keep it pretty lean. Man, oh man. The problem with newbies, they aren't trained to listen to their body or track calories. <clears throat> I think it's more important to track calories than listen to your body, but yeah. I'm currently the weight you're looking to be, sure. <clears throat> Thanks, Ninlog. I won't be here for long. We're gonna keep moving up. But yeah, I mean, perfectly achievable. Coming out a little mini cut, so we're on the way up. Not in a big rush, but that's that's the trajectory. We're certainly not coming down, and I don't really intend to stay the same. So we're gonna try to not waste our off season. I don't want to get too fat. I'm not in a rush, but I also don't want to get stuck in the trap of trying to stay too lean either. I'd be afraid to gain weight because now's the time to do that. Especially moving into winter time. It is the time to build.
And if I don't take these with a ton, then if we're gonna be sad when we diet down, it'll look the same. I mean, 10 pounds of lean mass will take a little while. At least it would for me. <laughs> take a long time. Smithsonian. Glad you're able to get back in the gym with the whole milk right now. I'm not going that crazy. <laughs> oh no. Not going, not going for the whole milk bulk. Just more rice. Let me see what we were doing on bench last time. And yeah, we benched like a couple days ago. It's funny. 190. Three by eight, huh? Hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking of high rep workouts? Like 30s? Uh, that can be fun. That, uh, that's not really what I'm focused on right now, though. But, uh. It'd be good for, you know, getting your form right and building up some endurance. No, of course they're not bookings now. What I think is usual weight threshold for 5'11"? Too much you can become more memory? What tons of your goals are? I mean, I feel pretty good at 200 pounds, but... If I want to get bigger and stronger, then we'll, we'll do that. And make sure you keep... You know... Just gain that weight slowly. I mean, I think I weigh probably around 200 pounds right now, but my scale is at a battery, so I don't weigh myself in a couple weeks. Well, I don't think I've gained a whole lot. I feel like I haven't been eating enough of anything. in the afternoon. Does handstand push press against the wall of an upper chest? If you're doing a handstand, it's probably going to be mostly your shoulders. Right? You'll kick the shit out of your, your enhanced friends if you just eat right and train right. Idiots taking drugs still not doing what they're supposed to do. He'll, yeah. They'll put them in the dirt. And they're just wasting their time and fucking up their bodies, taking drugs. So, put the hurt on them. And hopefully, maybe they'll even see, hey, I don't need drugs to make gains. You can maybe help them, you know, save them from not being able to even work out when they're, you know, in a couple years when their hormones and organs and you know tendons and all things all messed up well curling I, mean, I, I don't I don't think you really need to do a ton of weight on curls right 
But yeah, really good. Yeah. Look up for the heart, yeah. Stay natural, dude. Just you just need to eat more. That we've already established that. Just gotta eat more. Yep. Yep. Got to, mage man. Yep. I mean, on a on an isolation move, we don't usually need to go like real heavy, right? Last time. 210, 5x5. Five five. Hmm. Could try that again. I don't usually feel a minute rest now. Not like we're training. I usually. time of day it is, it's 8.30 in the morning for me. Right on time for the morning games. So yeah, let's, let's bump this up a little bit and see how these fives feel. Means getting stuck on a rep. Not usually in training, but I mean it happens. That's sometimes, I guess. I mean, if you're just worried about not, about not sitting too long, I would just get up and walk around every once in a while and have a particular time of your day where you actually get exercise. But yeah, that's one thing to keep in mind is like you know, just keeping your overall activity higher during the day, I guess. Could be good for you. Th just for like general health. I mean, I usually, like when streaming, I usually get up every hour or so. But we also have, you know, a two hour workout in the morning and I've been going for a walk afterwards too. Good thing. Feel free to leave a tab up and feel free to hit us with that 20% off sub too. I'll be right back and we'll uh, get some more benching going.
Let's see how, uh... <clears throat> Let's see how this weight feels. Oh, I'm trying to so make excuses? Yeah, that's it. Another good reason to do it. Let's get it out, you know, just get it going, right? <laughs> I'm with you. I like training in the afternoon as well, but the morning sessions are kind of like the staple, right? All right, that's going to be a little heavier than what we've been doing, but... building that that bench up a little bit so a couple more of those and this wrist wrap just a little extra supporter on the wrist <coughs> so lean bulk yep real real patient discipline surplus yep but I think I need to increase my calories a little bit from where they currently are. But that's just part of the deal, you know? That's how it goes. Nice patient surplus. They are for wrist support. They just support your wrists. <clears throat> I don't really mess around with that too much, Freak. Like, my buddy Sony, he's all about like, stretching and rolling and stuff. Gotta admit, I, don't, I haven't really got into that too heavily. Um. <clears throat> But I guess I'll look up a, a video online. But yeah, the uh, the stretching and rolling and release and stuff, I'm, I haven't really gotten into that too much. Maybe I'm missing out, but I, I just I don't know if I really felt the need for it. Just lucky, maybe. But yeah, I could very well be missing out, but. I wouldn't want to lead you astray, but I would say if I was curious about that, I'd probably be looking up a YouTube video. I do appreciate you coming here as a source of information, though. But yeah, I don't really have expertise with that one, or experience even with that one. I appreciate it, Freak. I'm sorry I couldn't be more helpful. 
like I said, I appreciate you coming to me as a source of info about fitness stuff. I guess we'll just do 220 then. Not a problem. Where is it? Is that the thing in your side? Gotcha. Gotcha. This will be in the land of gains. <laughs> We're trying to get going here, man. It's taken a little while to get warmed up recently, but we've been getting some good workouts in. I mean, we're progressing. I, I feel like the workouts don't feel great, but we've still been progressing, so that's good. How much like hamstring and glute work are you doing, freak? And how much sitting are you doing every day? Because for me, like lower back stuff is a lot of like glute and hamstring. <clears throat> if I get that going, that helps a lot. All right, let's do our third set. I guess we're just hammering 220. That's cool. Ugh. We take that. We take that for sure. I mean, I'm glad that's moving. That's more than I plan to do, but I'm glad that it's moving. Squats it three times a week. You sit a ton? Okay. Different kibbutz. I would get up every hour, then maybe try that. Like set yourself a, a like a timer. You get up every hour, even just for four minutes. And as, as part of your day, you can do like the McGill Big Three and do some 90-90 breathing. Like extra glute and hamstring work. Yeah. Squats and deads, like so you squat three times a week and deadlift three times a week, so you're doing a lot of work. I'd maybe do a couple, like a little bit more glute and hamstring, like accessory work maybe. That'd be good. The McGill Big Three, yeah, look those up. Dr. Stuart McGill, I believe, is his first name. Yep, and then 90-90 breathing is good too. Maybe do some direct app work as well. Yeah. 
That kind of stuff helps me out from time to time. My shoulders are still weird though. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be good. And then 90 90 breathing. It kind of helps get your hips and stuff oriented. That's kind of how it helps me. Alrighty. Let's keep hammering the bench. Eventually, we're gonna have to go up a little bit too. But the weight's moving okay. It's gotta. Let's keep practicing. Everything doesn't feel real. We feel great, but it doesn't feel bad either necessarily. It just doesn't feel like more powerful. in the past, but it's been pretty happy recently, which is cool. I think it's a lot of the glute ham stuff. A little bit of posture, but yeah. Would probably be good to get up and exercise a little bit more. Is that already, that's not my second round of carbs, is it? I don't think so. Maybe it is. I don't think so. Did I already do two rounds of carbs this workout? Have I just been hammering them today? Good job. Oh, maybe we are going for triple carbs. I don't think so. So, you gotta do what you gotta do. We still got <laughs> still got a lot of bench you can do, so. And I got like 40, 45 more minutes to train. So. Better get to it. Going for it one way or the other. But yeah, this week has let me know that it's time to bump the calories up again. So, be more deliberate about that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust you on this one, Pookins. I'm gonna trust you on this one. Don't let me down. What is that? You gonna spread a citrus up the second lift? Sure. I would love to add in some more second lifts. Haven't really been doing them recently, but I'd like to. I'm a little bit busy.
I need to reset that rep. Carbs up, I gotcha. Yeah. Interesting. Cool. I, I like the uh, cluster dextrin. I do eat a lot of oats though. Cluster dextrin is what I use for my intra workout because of the. I do prefer lower glycemic stuff generally. So, what are we doing today? Uh, the threes. Yeah, I don't like eating before training, but I do like having some food assistance for that second workout. So we did 230 for a five by three last time. So we can try to do 235. Like 15 pounds more, but we're gonna work on it. Thanks for every great day for working on, man. We got a little ways to go, but I appreciate the encouragement, man. Definitely got some work to do, but we are we are on the way up though, so that's that's good, that's good. Uh, but I think this this particular gym shark shirt has some extra swole juice to it, so there's that to consider as well. So let's try this for three. Just to rebuild some strength here. On that hashtag progressive overload. We can play around a little bit after. Okay. I have a question. I feel so lazy when I step to the gym. I go for a couple days, and for some reason, my toes I don't need to go. Yeah, you, you gotta. You have to make the decision that you do need to go every time, no matter what. What do you mean you get sour a lot though? Like your stomach doesn't feel good or something? But no, you do need to. You make that decision ahead of time, so when you think you might not need to go in the moment, you override that. Oof. Oh, sore! Oh. But yeah, I mean, if you're new to the gym, you're gonna get sore, it's okay. You just go train something else. That's why you do like a split. Yeah, going to the gym will help you be better at soccer too. Yep. Yep. You just gotta make it part of your routine. Just make, make it the first thing you do for the day. Every day, no excuses. And if, and if you're sore from training a certain thing, train whatever is the least sore. Yep. So you can split your training like, you know, legs, chest, back, arms and shoulders, repeat is like what I like to do. 
Gives you some good time to recover. You can still train hard and have fun. But yeah, man. You're like, you, you identified what needed to happen with your question, right? You're like, I have, I start going to the gym, and then all of a sudden I get this idea that I don't need to because I'm sore. And it's like, well, well, there you have it. You gotta quit listening to that idea. <laughs> Even if you have to go to the gym just to do cardio and abs for one day, you know? Just make it a habit to get there and do something. Okay, so we're doing three of these. Ugh. All right. It's kind of heavy. 235. Yeah. Uh, well, that moves pretty good. moved pretty good. I'm gonna do five by three here again like we did last time. Just bang at a bunch of kind of low rep sets. Then we can work on something else. Then come down to volume or whatever else. You can definitely ask a random guy for help, yep. That's how you make friends at the gym right there. Yep. Ask a, ask a big dude who knows what they're doing, who looks like they know what they're doing to spot you. They'll be, they'll be pumped that it's somebody, that they have like a new buddy at the gym. But if there's nobody around to spot you, you can certainly learn how to lift on machines and stuff like that, that's fine. Yep. Looking bulky, I swear it's just the shirt. I did have a little bit more to eat yesterday too, because I was like, I could tell from my training that I wasn't eating enough. I had added, I had added in a walk, and I and I hadn't increased my calories, so I was kind of getting a little bit cute there. So we'll fix it this coming week. We'll fix it. Easy fix. But thanks, man. I appreciate the encouragement. Working on it. All right, here we go. Another big set of three. Here we go. It is pretty light, I just gotta, you know, build the familiarity with the movement again. Had to take some time off the bench, like months off the bench. So. Just gotta build the familiarity again. But we got this. We'll get there. Yeah, refresh the stream and then click share and you should be able to announce that thing. Thank you. Not have you aboard, man. That definitely helps out. Big time. Subs are actually looking kind of juicy right now. It's another one of those things that I've been talking about. It's like, we've been doing variety and expanding our content a little bit, which can be a bit of a risk, but everything's looking juicy, including the subs, so thank you guys for that. Sub count goes up and down. 
It's just neat to see it really looking healthy, even during the variety phase. I feel like if I cut, I'd be bigger than when I did my first comp. Oh, I definitely think I'd be bigger than when I was in 2015. Uh, what, we, what we want to do is try to be bigger than 2018, which maybe we would be, but we got work to do. Give it another, another you know, 10 months to, to bulk or so. Nine months to bulk. And then dial it down, and then like next summer. Ugh. But yeah, we got some time. I think we might be making some progress though, hopefully, right? Alright. I think, yo, exercise is fantastic, Segs, yeah. Look more developed than I was back in Wadmop, but yeah. I mean, hope so, right? <laughs> you know. Hopefully we've made some gains in the past five years, you know? Hopefully. It's little by little. Well, I appreciate it. It's hard for me to really tell. If we look way, way different, but. You know, we'll, we're getting there. Working on it at least, right? Just a shirt. And I guess coming off the mini cut too. There's that. I was a lot more lean. Well, it depends. <laughs> I've had higher and lower body fat than this over the years. Just kind of depends on what we were working on at the time. So there are definitely periods in in WAD where I was leaner because that was the first time I competed was back in WAD, and then we competed again in uh, in BFA. Right, right. So I was definitely leaner than I currently am for competing in bodybuilding. Yeah, but I don't always stay that lean. Yeah, I won the uh, Muscle Mania Championship in 2015. Then in 2018, I won the Muscle Mania, well, sorry, Muscle Beach Championship, 2015 Muscle Mania Championship for California in 2018, which earned me my pro status in natural bodybuilding. But I mean, I'm not always that lean. Is overtraining a thing? Under recovery is a thing. Here we go. Let's stay focused. Notice if you eat carbs and take subs before you go to bed, you recover way more without. Yeah, I mean, like if you get more food in you, you're gonna recover better. Yeah. Yeah. Whew. It's pretty wild how it's done. Yeah. You're so skinny before you start lifting. <laughs> I mean, like you just grow up too, but yeah. Good job making some gains. But yeah, I mean, if you feel good with the work you're doing, that's fine. And next, thanks to the two months, man. Big flex for it. Good to see you, dude. Thank you, man. I mean, if you're recovering fine, then you're fine. 
Uh, I don't think overtraining is something most people have to worry about. Under recovery though, like if you're not eating enough or resting enough, that's something. But you can, your body can tolerate a lot of work if you can recover from it. Okay. One more set of 235 and I'll bump it up a little bit. Okay, 2K. Let's do one more at 235 for three and then we'll bump it up a bit and see where we're at. Not feeling too bad though. Let's rebuild some, some familiarity and some pop with these, these movements. So, I'm thinking it's a 250 situation here. I'm thinking it's a 250 situation. Just to get it the feeling. I'd like to do reps though too, so I'm not gonna do too much here at 250. Um, but we'll hit it for drill. Then I'll probably put on like 185 and just do some sets. Some rep sets. I do wanna try to get that good old Good old progressive overload here. I want to get some progress. Keep it moving forward here. be here for a bit. I think I'm just doing one by one, but. We'll see. We'll see. Am I telling you how long it takes to see a difference? Depends. You guys saying one month, two month? My dad told me like, Six weeks, six months, six years. And I'm like, hell yeah. Uh, probably won't compete until like next fall. Let the pandemic settle down. Let me make some gains. All right, end variable. Hey, if you guys got them Twitch Prime subs laying around, we'll happily take care of them for you. Thanks for hanging out. All right, here we go. Just one good one. Ugh. Shouldn't be that heavy. Better what we've been doing so far. Nice. 
I'll do a couple of those. That might be something I could do for two. Um, I don't know if I really need to get a whole lot heavier than that. Maybe like a 255. And thanks for the five months, dude. Big flex for you. Maybe, yeah, maybe we can do 255, actually. We can do some singles on the way up. Just real experimental singles. Maybe I'll put the uh, bars out, though. Because we're getting kind of cute here. Need them, but it takes like two seconds to change them, so probably worth it. Takes like two seconds to put these up, and it's you know, just a precaution. I think we should be able to get these moving though. Not too much, right? Yeah, we're today. Yeah. Yeah, if you guys want to be homies, sign up for HelloFresh. Give it a try on us. Get that, get that code for Zero 14 working. Help us do more HelloFresh cooking streams. Be great. All right. Yes. Auto plus up. Uh, they, they feel good and I need to work. And I feel like I use my back a lot doing bench press, so it helps keep the back warm. I'm gonna go pee again real quick. We got a couple more sets to do though, so I'll be right back. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for the nine subbies too. Keep coming in. More Hello Fresh cooking streams. Should be a lot of fun. Let's hit this 255 real quick. Suggesting these these massive jumps, Lance. You guys, <laughs> you guys got me all fucked up on the meat doing that. <laughs> we'll do 260 though. This will be like a you know three three reps of one, and then we can probably call it there. Um, Leave a little something to look forward to for next time. Leave a little, a little something to look forward to. We're not going to talk about that I had the weight wrong on that rep either. So that wasn't technically 255. It was 252 and a half. We're just not going to talk about that. 
that the sides were uneven. I knew that was gonna happen. When I put the bars on, I'm like, I know I'm gonna forget to switch the weight on the other side. And I did, of course. Of course. We're not gonna talk about that. Yeah. All right. Let's do another one. I mean, it counts. It's, it counts, it's 255, it counts. All right. So oatmeal, peanut butter, honey mix is a good pre-workout meal. Fast carbs, slow carbs, fat protein, sure, as long as it digests well for you. Well, I mean, I did 260, so. As long as we got 260, that's probably fine. All right, that's probably enough on the, uh, on those sets for today, um, for the heavies. I kinda wanna drop it down and do some, do some bumper reps. And we'll leave, uh, we'll leave 265 for next time. Leave a little something to look forward to. I'll take that though, for sure. Definitely take that. We'll do some 185 pumper sets. For the last little bit of the workout today. Leave a little, leave a little something to look forward to for next time. That's not bad though. Not bad at all. The 255 is just a little tester. Let's see how it felt. It felt fine. We good, we good, we good. All right. Under recovering is the thing. I mean, if, if, you, if you're just trying to work out every day, then go to the gym and do something, even if you need to go a little lighter. Even if it's just like a cardio and abs kind of day. That's acceptable. Favorite day is chest and arms, yeah. I, it's, it's ended up being more like chest and back, that's okay. All right, now we gotta do some pumper reps. Yeah, instead of dumbbell, I could or barbell, I could do dumbbell. I kind of want to do some barbell. Want to do some more of this? Build the familiarity.
Yeah, I don't, I don't really eat much, like at all, before, we, work, uh, before working out, but that's just personal preference. I think there's definitely advantage to that food system. I just not usually how I do it. Uh -uh. I can see how they'd be good though. But I don't. Damn, we gotta get going real soon. Well, good thing right, we're, you know, good thing we're just about done, I guess. That's what we're talking about, they're just little pumpers. Little pumpies. Oh, you chest pump? Well, I don't know, I, I get a pretty good connection with my chest from all the push ups and chest machines I've done over the years. But then, but then again, my triceps and shoulders are kind of, you know, kind of weak. So, bit of a trade off there for me, too, I guess, huh? I bench with my lats, <laughs> my chest. your chest like chest machines have like a bit of like a an inward motion that's nice try to keep your shoulders back a little bit like sit them on your lats It, so I'm very grateful for it, but we do need to wrap it up. I'll do one more set and we'll get out of here. Appreciate you being here though, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, probably no, probably no second gym stream today. Probably just get into Diablo and cooking, so uh, make sure you guys tune in for the second uh, stream of the day. Diablo on it and cooking and then more Diablo will be the plan.
I gotta remember to do pumpery reps too. They're getting reps held up. Not for a while. Not for a while. Alright, team. Appreciate the love. Thanks for tuning in as always. Make sure you guys follow the stream, of course. You can follow YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. Exclamation mark social, get you those. Exclamation mark YTs. Get all YouTube channels. And the fitness content might be something you're interested in. That's the Gains channel. Check that one out. But we shall reconvene here. <clears throat> About five and a half hours. Play some Diablo. Cook some nice HelloFresh dinner with Jenny. Then back to slaying demons. Thanks for watching. See you guys then. Peace.